Well, hello everybody and welcome back to Give It A Shot. Give It A Shot is a first impression series where I play a game I've never played before and I see if it's worth playing a little bit more. Up today on Give It A Shot, 3 out of 10, episode 1. I forget what the title of episode 1 is. Welcome to Shovelworks. Daytime on the beach. Look, I think it's like a point and click adventure. Novelty and their relative safety. Yeah, sure. I could be one of them. I could enjoy relative safety, too. But I'm not. I'm me. They say nothing is more dangerous than a tiger shark. They call them the people killers. Leg eaters. The terror of the open water. I call them surfing buddies. What? Oh. Oops. Oh, I get it. Oh. Okay, so that's... I don't know. I thought it was a cool announcement trailer. Yeah, it was something all right. But that wasn't a tiger shark. That was a great white. Yeah, I changed it to a tiger shark in the script. Everyone uses great whites. We need to stand out. Well, I'm not changing my art. You fix your script, Kevin. Okay, whoa. Even as dangerous as great whites. Oh, you can train them to run contraband, though. Wait, really, Joan? And look, it's still a shark. That's the important thing. All right, circle up, everyone. As you all know, we announced Hi, Jeb. The sharks today. Reception has been wonderful. The internet loves it. That's totally not true, but it's good for morale to tell you that. Now, I know it's been a rough few weeks for you all. We faced hard deadlines, crashing builds, technical downtime. And Javier exploded, too. Don't forget about Javier. His desk has been covered in blood all week. Look, I'm sure he's fine. Also, this meeting isn't about Javier. That's actually what I wanted to talk to you all about. Javier. Huh? Yeah, a week is a long time without an animator, so... I thought I'm he was the end. ...to you all, Midge. Our new animator. So, Javier's not coming back. Explosions will do that. That bastard still owes me ten bucks. Okay. Oh, no, he's the well, artist. Everyone, he's not the animator. It's company policy not to talk about Javier anymore. Midge is the new Javier. Everyone say hello. Hi, Hi Midge. Hi, uh, I thought this was for an interview. This is Shovelwork Studios, right? Midge here comes highly recommended. Anything Javier could do, <laughs> I'm sure she could handle. Okay, Just wow. feel welcome. Don't hit her. Yeah, what do we do about all the people outside? People? What people? I don't know. A crowd of people just showed up a few minutes ago. God damn it, why does this always happen to us? Well, don't make eye contact and maybe they'll go away. I don't know. Kevin, you deal with it. And make sure Midge is all set up. Back to work, everyone. Well, I guess it's been a few months. I wonder what they want this time. Last time, it was because our game didn't have a sewer level. Uh, yeah, I'm not changing my mind on that one. Not every game needs a sewer level. <sighs> guess I'll see how good the noise canceling is on my headphones. <laughs> All right, well, Midge, uh, I'm not sure what Jeb wants me to do with you. <laughs> I'm not even on the art team. Just so you know, I wasn't kidding. I was told by the recruiter that this was literally supposed to be an interview. Well, we work quick. Some might say rush. Pylon. Any ideas on how to handle the fans outside? Uh, bribery? Mm, can't afford that. They sure don't look like fans out there. <laughs> I mean, they wouldn't keep coming by every few months if they weren't passionate about our games. Look, Midge, why don't you, uh, go meet your coworkers while Pylon and I brainstorm? You'll probably be working a lot with Viper, so be sure to say hello to him. Oh, uh, alright? Okay, here we go. Look, now we're playing, everyone. Oh, oh, oh. Come back once you've said hello to a few people. Though I tried to say hello to you. Did you know that the latest build is always hooked up to the TV? You can try it out any time. Sounds great. Let's go to the boss's office. Hey, boss. Look. I can't promise I'll remember your name, but that's okay. Why? It's a really a small team. Going on up here about boss things. I'm ignoring you, you and walking around. Bye. I don't want to go down the stairs yet. Design ideas. 
An end? Huh. Three out of ten. Huh. I wonder what this meter is for. Ooh, what's it for? This must be that green guy's desk. Seems to really like pale yellow green. I like green. Uh, green's my favorite color, so uh. What's with all those bottles up there. And I do like ketchup. Quite a bit. You know, not too much. But, uh. You know, uh. Yeah. Can I jump? Help. Ouchies. Now how on earth would I even get through that? Okay. Here's a new friend. Wait, here's a little robot. Hey there, are you one of the developers here? No, I'm Timothy 3000, automated office assistant. Hi Tim. I'm here to help you with all your needs. This looks like a map of the studio. That's handy. Ooh. Hi, I'm Joan. I've been working in the industry since the 90s, but I've only been here a few years. I'm Midge. I've apparently been working here for 10 minutes. I really thought it would be harder to get this job. Oh dear, no. You haven't read much about our studio, have you? Uh, really? Uh -oh. no? Well, you'll learn. We have a bit of a reputation. Oh. You didn't do any research into the place that you were applying? Good morning, New England. Welcome to the Dice Bag, bringing you film, game, and- Okay, this guy didn't really explode. Wait, I wanted Did to hear that radio thing. Did Hold on. actually happen? Culture news non-stop. At least until the station break. Hey, you hear that Shovelwork Studios is making another game? Oh god, not again. Is this another turnstile jumper game? No, I don't think so. No one wants your crappy turnstile jumper game, shovel work. What is a turnstile jumper is it really game? That bad? Are you kidding me? It was the worst. Literally the worst game ever made. No, I take that back. Cannibal American Football 2018 was worse. Is that the one where you can draft famous cannibals to your football team? Yeah, it was awful. You actually played it? That game is the stuff of legends! Yes, I mean, winning a game just came down to whichever team made it out of the locker rooms with the most lead still intact. I can't believe someone is letting them make another game. Looks like it's some surfing game. Well, it looks kind of simple, but not terrible. You wait. They'll bring the terrible. If there's one thing you can rely on, it's that you can't rely on Shovelwork Studios. Ouch. Well, that was a great episode of a podcast. No one has cleaned up Javier's desk. I'm Viper. You can call me Viper. What's up, I Viper? There isn't what I do, and I don't suffer incompetent fools. Are you incompetent? I've Why heard? don't you back and up? Mitch, and no, I don't think so. I'll be the judge of that. Look, if you're gonna fill in Javier's shoes in animating my masterpieces, then you need to prove to me you know what you're doing, okay? A good pose is crucial to properly showing off my work. I have a lot of action figures, mostly from my favorite game, Sweaty Blood. Yeah. Show me you know how to make badass poses by posing them. Oh. This is Bloody Chuck. Look at all that detail. That's how you know it's a good design, okay? That's what the doctor ordered, is it not? Do I have to wait out the clock every time? Well, I guess you'll improve. Not many animators can keep up with me, so I shouldn't have been surprised. No, oh, that was wrong somehow. Okay, whatever, that's fine. Well, have a blessed day, Baron von you know, from sweaty blood. Wait, say it again. What's 
kind of a cool parallaxing effect they put on that. Uh oh. Da, 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 da. That's quite a crowd. I wonder if this happens often to them. The store looks like it just goes to a supply closet. Hi, Midge. Welcome to the studio. First, don't listen to anything Kevin tells you. Whoa. He's a lying, heartless bastard. Second, we don't have the budget for a new computer, so you'll have to use Javier's station. I guess that makes sense. It's still covered in blood, but you can worry about that later. Oh, but, yeah. All right. Hi, I'm Ben. Uh, look, no offense, uh, Midge, was it? I'm trying to get some stuff done. What could you possibly be getting done? You guys have worked on a shark game that looks to be almost done. Oh. The continuing continuation of the best-selling saga Betrayal and Animal Kinship. Julius's torch flickered madly as the stone slab crashed into place with a tumultuous stone slabby crashy sound. Julius, I, okay. This looks like the audio room. They may be recording in there. Well, we've met all six people that work here. There's a note here. Warning, Sally is feisty today. Huh. I wonder which one Sally is. That's uh unprofessional. Oh, this thing needs to be cleaned. It smells like popcorn. Oh, a Mit 32C graphing gaming device. Been years since I saw one of these. Whoa. Oh, I get it. Oh. Oh dear. Ow. This box of Hugbot cereal expired three years ago. Ew. Oh, dude. It should let you do the maze. That would be really funny. Hi, Kevin. the last animator oh Javier uh, right so should I be worried about what happened to him oh no spontaneous no, combustion good. just happens sometimes animators just do that you know it's the stress can I have his chair what no that's going to be Midge's chair I don't that's think true we don't explode. have enough money in the budget no time for dwelling on the past we need to think of a way to deal with those people outside well, everyone's being really chair. dismissive of Javier blowing up talk to them Talking never solves anything. Oh, maybe we can camouflage the studio. Or hire a velociraptor. Look, I'm just gonna go ask them what they want. Wow, this What is do you game. want? Where did you all come from? Oh, a developer. This is the New England chapter of the Global Internet Fandom Coalition. This is what we do. We're a mobile fan club. Really? Shovelwork Studios has their own fan club. Of course not. We're a generic group. We go where we're needed. Today was slow and Linda loves sharks. It's now! <laughs> so you're fans of... sharks? Yes, absolutely. At least today. Did you really think you could pass off a great white as a tiger shark? Great whites have pointy heads. How have I mean, so many people seen has this? The game industry lost all reason? When I was like just the current build of the game I was playing. <laughs> yes! Fix the shark! Oh, wanna buy a t-shirt? It's 100% cotton. Um, no, not really. <laughs> You're lost. Look, you think you can get away with everything. Well, you got a choice. Either fix that shark, or cancel the game. Whoa. Uh, cancel the game? We can't do that. It's just starting to come together. Maybe you could just fix the shark. No, it must be a tiger shark. Tigers are cool. Yeah, canceling things would totally compromise our vision. Pylon! Hey! What? 
They're right. It's a great white, not a tiger shark. And it's a cool shirt. Okay, so tell me. Oh, he got a shirt. Ah, you're intrigued. Excellent. You know your endless runner games, right? Those mobile titles where you always race to the right and tap to jump over things and yes. try and last as long as you can? Yeah, so it's like that. It's an endless runner, but the twist is. Wait for it. Yeah. There's an end. That's it? You're making an endless runner with an end? I call it an endful runner. Or maybe just endy runner? Well, whatever. The community is ultimately who decides a new subgenre's name. Oh, we dear. just have to make the game no one realized they wanted. I love making games no one wants. So, yeah, I'm not so sure I'm the best fit for this place. It seems a bit intense. Oh, you'll get used to it. Everyone here is great. With the exception of Viper. And all of the engineers. And the boss. Oh. And the tiger shark. And the occasional spontaneous combustion of animators. But otherwise, it's great. Also, look, we need you, Midge. This game, this is going to be a hit. But only if we have a good animator. That's why Javier was so important. Oh. What's in the fridge? Free soda. Guys, they're getting restless out there. I don't think they're going to leave on their own this time. Right. How do you calm down a crowd of fans? Well, everyone gets angry when they're hungry. Could we try feeding them? There's granola in the kitchenette, but that's not going to go very far. I have a lot of ketchup. We can make ketchup granola stew. Seriously, uh. that's revolting. Not if you add salsa. Salsa will give it body. Okay, okay. Granola, ketchup, and salsa. Does anyone know how to cook? Oh, I do. Does anyone except for Pylon know how to cook? I can do it, team. I can do it. Okay, look. Why don't both of you handle this? Wait. Uh, oh, okay. Oh. Okay, great. Ooh, do something with this. Or pepper. What? So we put. Oh, I get it. Okay, that's fun. One more soul. Yeah. That's five stars. Excellent. If I there you so go. Myself. Nice work, Suey Chef Mid. We present spicy granola stew. Yeah. Ah. Uh. Ugh. Oh, how does it taste? Yeah, I'm not tasting that. Ugh, me neither. I think it's pretty good. And we can serve Ridgy potato chips on the side. That's a good idea. Everyone loves Ridgy potato chips. Yeah, okay. those are pretty Time good, I guess. I like to gifts. put them in some French onion this. dip. <laughs> Come on, it wasn't that bad. Okay, that, that was a terrible idea. Let me at him. I'll chase him off. Or you could change the shark. Yeah, you could just oh, do that, no. I guess. What's going on? Code red. Meter's down to two out of ten. What happened? What made it drop? Hey, hey, hey. We're in the news. Terrible game studio tries to poison upset fans. That's uh -huh. not true at all. Yeah, they're not our fans. It's the shark. It's the shark. It's the shark. If we fix the shark, will you stop being mad? We'll always be mad. What? Why? Your game isn't as good as Witcher 3. Oh, ouch. Okay. Out of options. You don't mean what I think you mean, right? We have no choice. We need to ask the engineers for help. I think the Witcher 3 is just Go fine. To the supply closet and get an intern. A what? An intern. We keep them in the supply closet. Francine has the key. Oh, golly. To the supply closet. This leads to the basement. I wonder what's going on down there. Probably something spooky, old girl. What do I do? What do I do? Oh, you're not Joan. Wow, I mean, you're not Francine. Like studio with a lockdown system like this. They must get this a lot. Go, go, go. Are you Francine? You to keep it down already. Uh, sure. Can you unlock the supply closet? I need to get something. Sure. Knock yourself out. Whoa. Oh. Yeah. Boom. 
Okay, one star. The intern. Good work, Midge. Oh, hello, mentors. Uh, hi there, intern. I'm Midge. Why do we need them again? To convince the lead engineer to help us. The programming department only communicates by handwritten requests delivered via dumbwaiter with an offering. Do I get to work on the game now? Uh, sure. Look, Mitch, we need to get them to the dumbwaiter. This is a right. weird depiction okay. of the video the game development really industry. The engineer can talk some sense into the crowd. Oh, no, no, no. That's not safe. No one is allowed to talk to the engineers here. They've got barrel. But the lead engineer has other means to solve our problems. You'll see. Or you could just change the shark. What? Be reasonable, Midge. Mayday, Mayday, we got company. I gotta be. I'll be right back. The last time you poison anyone with your food or your game. If you won't fix the shark, we will. We need to keep the intern away from the crowd. Awesome to me if they get close. Or uh. me. Oh, they're getting close. Uh. Throw me to someone else, quick. Uh. Uh. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh, me! Uh, oh, well, then. Uh, Quick, to me! Uh, nice. Uh, oh, he got larger. Fix your game, no, and this will all be over, developers. Oh, oh no, that hurt. I wasn't expecting a boss fight. Ow! Yikes! Uh, Ooh, keep him locked. Uh, he's enraged. That makes him immune to pain. Concentrate fire now! Ow. Ow. <laughs> this is a really strange development Ow. studio. Keep away from him, tell him out. What a silly little game. I was gonna be enraged on his last hit point. Wait, hold on. Wow. All right, we we killed our uh, fan club organizer. Don't get in turn. Wait, he's the offering? We've done this before, Mitch. Send him down, Pylon. The door! It's not gonna hold! What do we do? Hold on. Give them time. The lead engineer will do something. Just wait. Come on, do something. Why don't they just change it? costume photos for the Racer Chase movie adaptation. They got rid of Chase's unibrow! They can't do that. That's Chase's defining trait. How dare they? Who do they think they are? All chapters mobilized. This is a code Foxtrot. Condition Omega. Pack it up, folks. Let's go. Racer Chase needs us. We will avenge this travesty. Don't they know how important unibrows are? Oh, yay. They're heading out. <sighs> See? The lead engineer always finds a way. Hey, hey! Someone leaked news about the new Racer Chase movie! Ah, the old distraction trick. Clever. The lead engineer did that? The lead engineer works in mysterious ways. Oh my god! What happened to him? Quick, call for help! It's fine. They just have a lot of bones down there. How is that fine? How is any of this fine? We send one whenever we need something from the engineers. Ghouls just keep sending them to us. We're low right now, but we'll get another shipment eventually. Come on, Poker Night. We use them as chips. Look, I could see past the thing with the animator and your fan club and the thing growing in the kitchen, and even the fact that this is apparently the worst game studio in existence. But this is too much. This is where I... Enough is I'm too much. 
Midge, wait! Wait a sec! What? See that counter up there? Yeah, what about it? That's tied to an algorithm that takes into account focus testing, mock reviews, A-B results, and a hundred other factors in order to create a predictor of our expected score. It's just three out of ten. That's terrible. It is. We've never had any of our games score above three out of ten. But not anymore. Not with this project. This project is different. I thought review scores didn't matter anymore. They matter to the people I went to high school with. I will show them. Oh. This game will be a hit. Ugh. But it needs a good animator to tie it all together, Midge. Well, you'll have to find someone else. Midge, just wait. So, just say it. This is all the tiger shark's fault. Wait, really? Well, why don't we just change the shark? Well, that's what I said, buddy. Look, I can't do this. These people are terrifying. There's something growing in the refrigerator, and there is some sort of ritual involving interns, and who knows what's going on with their baby. Otter, you had a role, and we had an agreement. Yeah, well, that agreement didn't mention half the crap going on in there. Your job was a simple one. The director will be disappointed, but not surprised. What does that mean? We've been assembling a file on you, Miss Potter. Your interests go far beyond animation. Some of those extracurricular activities you partake in, those come with long prison sentences. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm sure. Our file is quite interesting. Photos, videos, documents. Your local police department would find it fascinating. Is this blackmail? This is a friendly warning. You know what we're capable of. This is bigger than you and me, Miss Potter. Wow. Go what an interesting them. little tale. In their trust. Work with them. But remember, they must never make a good game. They don't need me for that. I don't think you understand. This is the most important job you've ever had. If they make a good game, it will be the end of everything. Oh, no. Well, that's it. Oh, that's great. Oh, that, that timed out perfectly. Are you kidding me? All right, I was a nice person. Well, everyone, thank you so much for joining me for Give It A Shot today. This was 3 out of 10, the first episode of it, whatever it was called, I kind of forget. You know what? At, at bite-sized half-hour long episodes, that was actually pretty good. A little light on the gameplay, um, but a lot of interesting types of different gameplay, which is neat. I might continue the series. Maybe we'll make it a little Give It A Shot sort of series where we just do them all and then bang them out. Thanks again for joining me for Give It A Shot. I'm going to see you guys next time. Goodbye.